Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another bit of Shadow Empire. In previous episodes, we gained a lot of land here in the Eastern Front, and we also, for the Western Front, we got ourselves a heavy armored brigade, which is going to be allowing us to probably destroy a lot of the enemy tanks, let's be honest, among other things, of course. But basically, I think it's time to inflict a lot of destruction on the enemy. Now, we did do most of the fighting already last episode, which did go a bit long, admittedly. So hopefully we don't go quite as long this time around. We'll need to get a little bit of... Oh, hold on a minute. Was it... The Crusader is the heavy... Uh, yeah, that's got the laser gun. Okay. Let's start getting some Crusaders then. As our tanks uh, for the light tanks. And then, of course, we need a bit of metal here. So I'm just going to go through these uh, reinforcements real quick. We don't need too much. We do need a little bit of jetpack soldiers as well. But there we go. Now that all of that is dealt with. I think it might actually already be time to go to the next round. But we did manage to get at least the airfield in here, so that's going to be really nice. And these are now going to be definitely out of supplies. I don't think they'll... Like, this one might still be able to get to safety, unless we pluck it. We could actually pluck it. These can get in here. There's a bit of enemy motorcycle troops there. We've got the metalheads in here now. We could probably move these forward. I'm going to bring the barriers a little bit closer. And the cobras... Oh, right, let's actually go ahead and move a bit of infantry around here as well. So this is going to be a little... Well, I suppose the metalheads aren't really that weak, but this infantry might be having some problems. I'm probably going to move these actually closer. Let's go ahead and do a quick range attack in there as well. If we can destroy some of the infantry, or at least reduce the readiness and all that, that's all good for us. But that... Did, well, we've got a few hits, but not much in there. That's a bit of a shame. We do have a decent bit of a recruit still. Nothing massive, but it's good enough for now. And we are gaining a good 1100 per round right now. Of course, some of that is recruits from Spike. At this point, we've got so many of the um, battle dojos or whatever they're called. Yeah, battle dojos that we can actually just, you know, not necessarily recruit at all. Currently, how much of that is? It's 200 recruits from here and everything else is... Uh... Wait, no, I think we ha might have 100 coming from somewhere else. I don't know. Well, regardless, it's not too bad, but we can probably hit to the next round pretty much now. Although, how's Spitzberg doing in terms of... Uh, oh, yeah, it needs way too much population to work there. So I guess that's going to be one of the locations where we send in a lot of our troops right now. Also, did we get these built? So we got our... Yeah, we got the supply base there already done. We got air base in here completed, and a port is almost completed. So that's going to allow us to then... Uh, bring in the planes from here or bring in some other planes over there like for example a Thopter transport group in there and that can start doing the air bridge into Unsung and then these uh, recon planes can be sent elsewhere and doing some other work but yeah I think that's enough for this round so let's get to the next one there should be a bit of movement on the western front But I suspect that the presence of our heavy tanks in the Western Front will start to uh, causing a bit of panic on the enemy. Also getting pretty close to the Eastern Front capital here now, so we just need to push a little bit further with the tanks. So in around or two, we might actually have that one. And then that means that they're probably pretty much destroyed. I mean, they might still have a few things spread around, but not much. I didn't... Oh, there we go. We just shot at least some enemies there. I did not check the northern front, so we're actually losing a bit of ground there. I guess we'll just have to live with that for now. We killed 100 infantry, but that was just the... Ooh. Our some trade health officer in alliance. Rook grab point assets at 23. Okay, yeah. Good. Alliance troops 5 has been uh, built. We'll have a look at how good that is compared to the old stuff. Uh, let's have a look. Infantry, so this should be probably high quality, so what is the It's 500 uh, hit points, it's uh, hard attack 120 and soft attack 204. As defense is 408 on, so it's basically pretty much doubled on the defense side on both of those. And if we have a look at this, it's it is higher on those. Uh, hit points did not increase all that much though. But the weapons are better, so yeah, we could make that elite, I suppose. At the same time, well, we still got quite a bit of infantry in here. I have, um, since, uh, or oh, during this playthrough, I've learned a few things. Is So uh, if you put obsolete, uh, pretty much all the units that have those units will just push those uh, 
troops back into the uh, the, the the Supreme Headquarters. That's the word I was looking for. And you can actually upgrade the troops within the Supreme Headquarters. So we could probably just go ahead and send all of these back. We'll still keep the GI3s on, I think. But the 1s and 2s are not really needed. So I guess there might be quite a bit of troops heading in here next round. They're not going to be there this round yet, but let's have a look at the decisions real quick. So we don't need to change the tasks there. Alliance Council, ta yeah, no, we'll focus on the research. We've got so many discoveries already done. We could maybe even increase this to like 10 and 90%. Then design target, we're going to get the missile launcher. We don't have any of those yet. Um, we're going to go for the maybe medium conventional missile. Oh, wow, that is a lot of... Uh, by power there, that's for sure. But yeah, we'll go for medium conventional missiles. And then plating, it can probably be like 25mm polymer plating. I don't expect them to be in front line as much. And then maybe a double diesel engine. I don't think it needs too heavy of an engine. Minor worker strike and Celeste. Um, that's not too bad. We'll give it to some of their demands. I don't want to risk looting people right now in some of those areas. Major worker strike in Hidden Village, sure. Black Doctors active in rear view will have my full support. So we rolled a 188 total versus difficulty 110, so no danger increase from that. So there's already offers an alliance, uh, we do agree on that one. Might be able to get some good leaders from them as well. Right, so that one's uh, surrounded now, these are pushed back into the mountains. They did not try to push us back too much. I'm going to use a bit of the metal heads over here to destroy that. It should be pretty weak by now. Yeah, there we go. They surrendered. And we're going to keep on advancing through here. We'll send our tanks. Ooh, actually, we might want to use a little bit of recon first to check what exactly we're going to be fighting in here. Birds are in the sky. It is tanks. Tango Good to know. So we're going to attack these. We don't have a massive amount of action points, but we'll probably deal some damage. Well, 10 tanks. I guess that'll do. We did not push them back, unfortunately. We do have the all-rounders, though. Could have been pushed along there. Admittedly, the all-rounders aren't necessarily the best, but it's still better than what they have. There we go. So now we push them back. I'm just going to push in here so we can cut these off of uh, supplies. And then what do we have here? We've got the manpads. Okay, these can actually help capture some of the land there. they got still some troops in the mountains. They should have fairly low readiness and morale. So I think the infantries that we have in here should be enough to destroy them. Or at least uh, sort of push them to surrender. Well, the light armor panicked at least. The infantry is still being pushed back further and further. But they should be now so low on supplies that I don't think that's going to be an issue. We'll keep these uh, tanks as a... Well, and you know what? I'm going to send them over here for the western front. I'm going to use... Well, I suppose we could use both of these for an attack. It's a very open terrain, so I don't think the infantry is going to be very good against our armor. Even with the hold the line uh, attitude there, all stuns. So there we go. We're next to an airfield. Uh, we could probably... Well, no, actually, we're not going to push in there yet. That being said... I'm actually going to do... Oh, there we go. We've got a bit of intel on this at least. Going to use a little bit of range attack there. Might get a few... Oh, there we go. That's a bit of infantry. Nothing too bad, though. So what do they have actually in here? They've got a machine gun battalion, independent RPG battalion, motorbike regiment. They've got the Grand Republic Great Infantry. There's some laser guns, which we already have as well, so it's not really that much better. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to do a bit of an air attack in there. I'll use some wizards. Uh, I think it's the 16th. I suppose the 18th as well. I don't know where that is. Admittedly, but is that? It'll probably be fine. Oh, we're getting a few hits in here on us. No interceptors from the other side, at least. Oh, there we go. There's at least one kill, two kills. All right, then. It could be worse. Let's go ahead and do a bit of an attack with the tanks now, since we've weakened them a bit further. Definitely getting a good amount of hits there. But we did not push them back, but you know, it's still 400 infantry. And a specialist. That'll do. The barriers can probably stay in there. We have uh, 150 heavy tanks in this front, I mean, suppose. That's low mountains. I suppose they might be able to push through there. 
Now we're going to send these to attack in here. If we can take the airfield, that'd be very... Oh, well, we lost a bit of tanks there. But we're also inflicting a lot of casualties on the enemy. Oh, wow, we actually won that. So 400 infantry from their side, and we lost 10 tanks. Admittedly, these tanks are quite expensive and all that. Get the reinforcements in there. And this can move forward as well. So we're threatening the enemy at least a little bit on the flank. We've got the scout vehicles. We can bring those closer. They do have a bit of... Um, the medium tanks in there. Not very high morale necessarily. Do we have a range attack? Well, we could attack these, I suppose. There's a bit of tanks in there. Might get some good hits there. Well, not quite as much as I was hoping for, I'll be honest. The next question is, do we try to break this one? Or do we let that... We'll probably let that be for a few moments. Let's have a look at the... Uh, right, so we had the central front there. We could maybe move a little bit in here. Not necessarily too much, though. I guess we got the tanks in here. We got the metal heads. Did we have... Right, I do have a bit more tanks in here. So I'm going to use both the tanks and maybe even the anti-tank gun and machine gun or armored car units there to push the old mechanized units there. So we can push them back. That's uh, 50 tanks from the enemy. We lost 10. Admittedly, it was... Where? Well, it was uh, somewhat the solids, I believe. So it could be better, it could be worse. We did push the enemy artillery at least back of the previous round, so that's not too bad. We've got the flat guns in here that we can probably just keep on moving closer. I don't think we need to worry about too much of the northern front anymore. It's just uh, keep on pushing. Destroy all the troops. Well, that was quick. That's now destroyed. Ah, oh, there we go. There's some more scorpions. That's the armored car. I'm going to do a bit of a range attack on these units. There's a few hits, no kills. If we attack there with the infantry, we should be able to push them back. Oh, we lost a bit of infantry. That's a bit unfortunate. There we go, these can push forward. I think it might be time to, well, I suppose we'll just uh, continue the road in here. At least to the hidden village. And maybe around the coastline. So there we go, that northern area is fine. Let's have a look at the northern northern front here. There's something in the pocket here. Well, there was something in the pocket there. Might something... I don't know if there's still something there. No, there is not. Can't attack this one, unless with the infantry. I mean, it's just absolute militia, so we can probably destroy that quite easily. Even with the infantry. Don't need to use tanks or everything. There we go, so we push them back further. Uh, then I know that there was a bit of movement here. The... Recon car is getting a little bit... Well, it was getting a little bit surrounded there, but... Seems like the situation has stabilized again. Oh, right, and this was the Hell Racers. I wanted to move these a little bit closer. So this got nuclear warheads, essentially, in there. I don't actually want to be using it quite yet, but it's good to know that we have that option. To nuke the enemy, if need be. And it looks like over here, we could probably do another artillery strike on the... pocket here. I'm just going to start with that. Well, it's not really a pocket yet, but I think they are starting to run a little bit low on supplies, at least. So there is that. Well, there's a five hits. It could be worse. If we were to attack with these, it's ten to one. I think we're good. Oh, well, one of them got broken. Another one got broken, and we destroyed a lot of infantry. We did lose 100 infantry ourselves. So it's not completely without losses, but that's still definitely worthwhile. We can use the, or move the flat guns a little bit closer. We've got a bit of infantry in here. We've got the infiltration on these. They've got a defense in there, but they should be fairly low on supplies. At least in theory. We'll see how much we can actually deal damage in here. That's a lot of uh, losses that we're taking here. But we did win that combat. It's just this one got beaten back quite a bit. Oh, there's another library down there. Then, over here in the center, we're going to have a bit of a supply issues, I reckon, because we have yet to build a lot of the logistics. Plus, you know, the city is having a lot of issues with the buildings. It just does not have enough workers in there. Well, let's just go ahead and send all the workers that we can in here. It might cause a bit of um, issues with the supply lines, but that's just how it's going to have to be. Go ahead and use both of these armor brigades over here. Push back the enemy infantry. There we go, so that's uh, 500 infantry. And we'll push them back. So what was this one? It's got a... Right, that's the agriculture. 
could potentially attack there. I'm going to move in a bit of infantry to support that area. Uh, we got some more infantry in here. Ooh, that's a lot of troops here. Now, how much of these are actually a problem and how much of them are just, you know, in there? I could use the Apaches to do an air recon in here. Birds are in the sky. Whiskey, tango, box okay, so there is infantry and a bit of tanks there, but it's a lot of uh, brigades that are actually empty. If we can take their capital now, I mean, we're getting good hits there. We got one kill of infantry, but we did not get through there. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and bring in the rocket organs a bit closer. Do a bit of range attack in there with these. We got a good intel there now. Two hits, no kills. It's a bit of a shame. Could these move forward? We could try attacking in there, yes, but it's... Uh, I don't know if it's going to be... Worthwhile. Can we do an air attack in there? We can. We'll also use the wizards. Probably should have done that before the attack, but a little bit, oh well. Let's see, so we got two kills, so that's uh, ten trucks and ten um, recon vehicles. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it's better than nothing. I suppose we can move these along here. Now, I definitely need to set up the road network here a little bit smarter. We will still have this road going south, but we might meet, need to turn it a little bit more direct. Do I need this road in here? Not necessarily. I mean, I suppose we do want to have a road going from here to there, but this road could then be removed. Let's go ahead and remove some of these. There we go. We can move the headquarters further south. And the armor brigade can probably move further east. I'm going to move, um, well, you know, we've still got quite a few in these in here, so we'll just destroy the southern pocket, I guess, and then we're going to start heading further out into various places. So this is just a bit of tanks there. They should be out of supplies and all that. It should be fairly easy. We can use, I suppose the bikers aren't necessarily the best for this, but I'm going to use these bikers to get a little bit closer to Osnabrück. So we do know that they've got still some troops there. Nothing too massive, luckily. They might still push us back from there. But at least we are threatening them so heavily that I don't think they're going to be a massive issue in the long run. So look at the victory over you, by the way. We haven't had a look at that in a few moments. We're definitely the number one. We got a 30.8 victory score. We got about 28% of the population and we got a full third of the planet under our control. So yeah, we're doing fairly good in here. I think it's quite safe to say that we are on the path to victory right now. After a lot of uh, problems early on. Look at this, still got a little bit of infantry here. Let's go ahead and try to attack them anyway. We might take a bit of losses. But, oh, there we go, that's surrendered. There we go, that was a large set of units there that just uh, vanished. Right, we did clear out that one. You can get back towards the roads. Got a bit of road going through here. So at least Pittsburgh is going to get a little bit of population, or did get a little bit of population. It still needs a ton of it, though. Especially because of this agriculture over here is needing a lot. We could... How much does it need? 27,000 work? Okay, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that production like 25%. Is there also other things like the industry over here is already 25%. Air braces need a bit. I suppose this one we could mothball for now. The hmm, truck station is going to need a lot of workers as well. Hopefully we can reduce some of the work need or workload in here for the troops. I'm going to go ahead and attack with the... No, I'm not going to attack over there yet. Later on, perhaps, but not right now. So, let's go ahead and start clearing out this pocket, shall we? There we go. That's a victory. There we go. We all run the artillery and push back the infantry. Or the tanks, rather, not the infantry. Use these two units to destroy... The oh, there we go. Already 20 tanks destroyed. There's still 10 tanks remaining. Ooh, we actually lost some tanks there ourselves. Run, run, oh no. Run. We failed. Well, that's too bad. Let's try again. A fresh set of tanks. Run, run, no, still run. not succeeding. Well, I suppose the supplies are going to be a little bit low on here for us right now, so that's going to cause some issues. But at least uh, we did deal some damage to the enemy. And like the southern pocket over here is not going to be too much of an issue. The biggest issue is going to be our supplies, quite frankly. And that might take a few moments to fix. 
I'm going to move in some of the old rounders over here just to make sure that they can't attack our rocket organs here by accident. We can also move the barriers a little bit closer. Supplies are going to be an issue though, but I suppose with the better road going through here, actually, I'm going to do a little bit further. I'm going to make this into a sealed road all the way up to there. And maybe also through here to the airfield. And the road going south could also be turned into some proper roads. There we go. Now we have a little bit more of the road network done. So at least the supplies can flow a bit further. It might not increase the amount of uh, logistics points that we have. But we can do more with the same amount now. Right. So there's just have a little bit of stuff in here. But Ulsterbrook is... Um, Oh, there's a lot of things that are quite damaged in here. How's the popula- Well, we don't actually know about the population all that much, unfortunately. We have very limited- Oh no, we got a max recon in there. We just don't know about the information in here. But we can see that they got the Supreme Headquarters over here. We're a little bit reinforces in there, nothing too much though. But I think these troops, uh, next round or two, will be able to clear out the city for sure. Let's have a look at the- situation there. How are we doing in terms of money? Are we losing it? We're losing it a little bit, plus we're getting a lot of bad, bad stuff every round that was, causes us to spend more, but oh well. We could probably do a little bit of trade. Let me have a look at that. There's probably some things that we could afford selling, like a little bit of the radioactives. Not going to sell too much, but that's at least something. Got the high-tech parts and machinery, which we could sell. Got a pretty good amount of food, which I guess I'm going to sell a little bit of that. Make sure that we don't, you know, fill up our stockpiles completely. I guess that's good enough. But there we go, back to 3,000 credits. You still have our, well, the grasshoppers don't really have too much. The Apaches could probably be moved a little bit closer in here. Like there or something. And then they can start intercepting in here if the enemy is using planes. I don't know if they are going to be using much planes. But now we're slowly moving towards... Uh, to Tomona's Republic capital as well. Did we... Right, we did do a bit of fighting in here. We could probably do more fighting next round. They are probably getting supplies though, so we can't actually push them back without any problems. But we could probably do, start doing it slowly. And I suppose these enemy units over here in the north should be running very low on food and all that. So I don't think these are going to survive all that much longer. So we should be able to clear out the northern peninsula fairly soon, including whatever monsters there are in here. We can get rid of those. We might want to also get a little bit more of the road going through here. I'm going to get a little bit of a coastal road here. So I'm going to maybe get rid of some of this uh, excess road here. I think that's really not needed. If we have a look at the... without the bottlenecks. I can probably move this road as well. But then we'll have road going along the coast on either side. So that should be more than enough. I think that's enough for this round. I'm just going to double check the north area. Is there something? No, we did all remove the troops there, so we should be fine. So let's go. Oh, there's a bit of attack. The attacker was victorious. That was the lighter or the medium tanks that they pushed back. But not too much happening in the western front uh, other than a few attacks on us. So the eastern front is... Uh, well, let's just say that the enemy side has kind of collapsed there. So I don't think it's going to be too difficult to capture the rest of that. I mean, it's still going to take a few rounds at least before we can get all the way to the eastern tip of the peninsula there. But that's about it. Like, our troops are so experienced. Oh, I forgot to do the reinforcements. Right, well, that's on me. So lost 10 tanks, but that's about it. Plasma engine. Super powerful engine. Okay, good to know. Probably very expensive to make. But that could be very handy. I uh, don't need to change any of that. Let's have a look. Where did we have that uh, loss of ours? Right, it was the all rounders that we lost in there. Right, let me just go ahead and have a look at these. So I'm pretty sure that there's going to be plenty of troops in here right now. Yep. There is. We'll do mass upgrade on the... Ooh, right, we can actually upgrade to these. And then the GI ones also need to be mass upgraded into the new things. So that's going to be taking care of the infantry reinforcements for the most part. Still got a few extras that we need to produce, but we can start making those... Actually, 
there is no cost difference between these. I mean, these are just a little bit more refined version of the line troops, I suppose. But that does help. Uh, we could probably get a few more dragons. Get 20 dragons, and we'll also get 10 solids, just to be on the safe side. Not 95 solids, 1 solid. Or 1 set of 10. Okay, so there's those. Pretty sure we did have some other units that we needed to replenish as well. But no, actually, no, that seems to be it. There we go. So, you now if we look at the bottlenecks, we can see a little bit more. So, at least we got the road going through here. We'll probably continue the road going further north. Along the coastline there. And this one goes all the way up to the coast now already. I'm thinking uh, maybe the artillery could be moved out of here. I don't think there's going to be that much need for artillery anymore. On this particular front. Let's go ahead and use these two to attack. Oh, there we go. That's... Well, it didn't destroy... So, there was one more set of those uh, recon vehicles. A bit more than I expected. Well, we've got anti-tank guns in here, so that should be more than plenty to destroy it. Or at least keep on pushing. Go ahead and use the infantry in here. So, I think there used to be two sets of units here, and that's now overrun. So, either they moved one back, or it got destroyed. There seems to be something maybe at the computing node, or something over there, maybe. I don't know. They've got something somewhere in here, because we did not capture this yet. Then, we've got our tanks here, which would probably go ahead and assist in the attack here. We use the armor to, or mechanized units here as well with the anti-tank guns and flat guns. Oh, we lost another set of, um... Is that Metalhead 2? It is a Metalhead 2. And we also lost a little bit of um, troop carriers and all that. That's unfortunate, but we did also destroy quite a few of their tanks, even though we did not push them back. Mostly because of the terrain is heavy for us, which is not very tank friendly. There we go, so I set up the reinforcements. I'm going to bring the flat guns a little bit closer so we get a little bit intel more over there at least, thanks to that. Uh, it's still, all right, there's still the infantry in there, so that's probably going to be a problem. Uh, admittedly, we've got the artillery group coming closer to assist with this, so that might fix the issue. And in the center, they've... Oh, wow. Did we actually... I suppose we did try to conquer what used to be the airfield. I think they may have destroyed the airfield, though. Or maybe the airfield got destroyed in the combat. That's also a possibility. They got a bit of flat guns in here. Let's go ahead and destroy these. Should be quite easy to destroy these, or at least push them back. Well, we destroyed 10 guns and pushed the rest of them back. Let's go ahead and attack along the road here next. There's a bit of motorcycle troops, and... Oh, well, we did actually lose a bit of tanks here. Bit of a shame. I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick range attack on this stack here. So that's where they retreated to. Alright then, I'm going to move these in. Oh right, they should have been in here to attack that one. We've got a bit of tanks in there. I don't think they'll be able to cross through the mountains too much. So I'm not too worried about that area. Uh, we've got our air units in here. We could probably... Well, we don't want to attack in here, I'm pretty sure. Or they are, one of these is where we don't want to attack. But we could probably do a bit of damage. Oh, these are the Apaches. Never mind. Those are not going to be attacking. We could move the Cobras a little bit closer. And then do... Right, you don't have the range now to do the air attack. Fair enough. Fair enough. Go ahead and attack in there. There should be solo on uh, supplies and all that. The readiness is basically nothing. Which means... Quite easy to destroy... Go ahead and use the 100 heavy tanks here to push along the road. I think this is going to be more than enough to push them back further and further. Actually, we could probably attack in here. Kind of outlank the enemy a little bit. They did still manage to retreat a little bit in there. That's not too shabby. Got some recon vehicles in here. We could probably move these in by now. We've got the Blitzer. So these are light tanks, not necessarily the best against the enemy mediums. I'll be honest. But we could actually use these to do a strike on the tanks in the mountain still. Maybe destroy it a little bit and then we're going to use the infantry to completely destroy it. But did not destroy, but the redden is now going to be quite bad. Probably use the flat guns as well in this. I don't usually use them in frontline combat. Okay, we'll push them back. Get that in there and... I suppose this headquarters could move a little bit closer. Although it's got 
some of the yeah there's three units over there one over there one over here so somewhere in the center over here is still going to be very important but that could probably be moved at least a little bit further and now these are basically out of red and it's very low on morale and all that so next round those will surrender most likely to us go put our anti-tank guns in there but that's not quite enough move these along the mountains here so we are now surrounding this from three sides and all in the high ground so we'll have the defensive uh, benefit in there move the barriers a little bit more central over here as well with the apaches i guess and i suppose the heavy tank uh, headquarters could move along here are these still they still got a little bit bonus from it at least so that's good and let's have a look at the eastern front are the supplies still they seem to be pretty bad still admittedly but i suppose the amount of enemy troops here in the south especially is starting to be very low Go ahead and use the infantry and some of the tanks. The heavy tanks can start with... Oh, there we go. That's overrun already. Oh, some of them surrender already. So that's about half that you need to destroy already by that. So these metal heads can start moving north. We can start sending some of the infantry north. Where's the headquarters for that? It's this one, isn't it? That can move along. Some of these infantry units can... Start heading northeast as well. This one's a little bit damaged. Might have been either taken a little bit damage last round, or alternatively, it may have had some of the older units that we're now replacing. Right, now they've got a lot of the headquarters in here again at zero strength. That's one does. Uh, there's some all rounders in here. Let's go ahead and send these in. All the tanks. Let's go. Okay, so we overrun a lot of them. Uh, they did hold, but we destroyed uh, several units as well. They still got some infantry in there. I guess we could actually use these two tanks to clear out the flank again. There we go, that was successful. Now we could actually use these two sets of units. Maybe we'll send in the... No, we're not going to send the infantry yet. We'll try to do a bit more damage with the tanks, and then we can maybe send in the infantry. Well, no, I don't think that's quite good enough yet. It's ruins. So whilst the ruins... Okay, it gives a decent entrenchment. The attack modifiers are reduced, so that is uh, a little bit of a problem for us. We might need a bit more ammunition as well. That will keep us going for a little bit further. I'm going to move in the Hueys a little bit closer. Same with the Apaches. We should still have the Wizards over here. Go ahead and do a bit of an air attack there. We could probably use both... Well, we'll use the Hueys and the Wizards. Doesn't seem like they have... Oh! One of their... Um, machine gun militia actually sort of shot down one of our wizards. Alright, well that's a bit unfortunate. Let's go ahead and get some more replacements. I suppose we just need to get one of the... Oh right, we do need another heavy tank actually. But then we also need the... Fighter Bomber. So Wizard 2 is going to be the next one. And I also realised that we are once again quite a bit over time. So we'll have to end the episode here. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, get the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.